So this is just going to be kind of a random discussion. Um, I had a post shared with me and I felt like just kind of speaking to it. Some of you may be interested, some of you might not. Um, you know, I really don't know. But anyway, it is regarding dual fragrances. Um, they recently apparently fired their uh, one of their head marketing customer service people. Uh, anybody who's familiar with the group would have, the Facebook group specifically, uh, would be familiar with uh, Rickman Sam. Um, he was apparently let go right before Christmas, unannounced. They said basically due to financial reasons, they uh, essentially had to make cuts and him and his team got cut. Uh, they said they were struggling financially, um, which I, I, I don't know. Um, it's something that I kind of wondered but then I saw how much they were pushing out fragrances, more so than in the past. And you know, they're really pumping out fragrances. So that made me wonder um, two things. One, how they're affording to do that if they're really struggling. And two, maybe that is a sign that they're struggling. The reason they're doing that is trying to draw in customers um, and more sales by having a million different releases and jacking up basically um, you know, the, the overall price of each individual sale by offering more offerings, thinking people will add more to their cart. I don't know. Um, nonetheless, he got let go. Really sucks for him, obviously. Um, and, you know, I understand companies have to make cuts. I understand um, that that is part of running a business. So I'm not here to trash do it necessarily for that. But I do think it's pretty shitty that somebody who's been with a company that long was let go without any notice at all. Um, you know, really just because according to them, according to Rickman Sam, they said that they could find someone to do it cheaper. Um, you know, if that were the case, even if that were true, um, which it very well might be, uh, you think they would at least offer him, you know, Hey man, we can't pay you as much as we used to be able to for these reasons, but we'd love to keep you on, you know, and then just offer kind of, um, see if he'd be interested in working at a slightly reduced rate or whatever the case may be instead of just firing the man right before Christmas um, especially since fortunately it sounds like that's his only um, source of income for his entire family so I wish the best for him um, it, and again it sucks to see somebody who kind of helped put Duo on the map and help Duo become what they are today um, be treated kind of like just trash but you know it is what it is uh, like I said a, whether you want to Continue to support Duo, that's all up to you. Um, I've obviously, you know, got kicked out of the group um, for voicing my opinions. Uh, people who have commented about how Rickman Sam was fired, uh, some of those individuals that were prominent in the Facebook group have since been blocked and banned from the group as well, just for commenting that they uh, thought it was, you know, screwed up that he was let go like that. Again, this is Duo, okay? If you want to support them, great. I, I you know, that's that's certainly your obligation, your uh, right. Um, I haven't obviously been since getting banned from them. Um, I think it's, again, I do understand they have a business to run. I understand you got to take cuts, but this could have been handled, I think, in a much better way. Uh, and they had to anticipate this was going to get some blowback. So, Anyway, that is Dua. At the end of the day, they're here to make a profit. They're here to make as much money as they possibly can. And quite frankly, they don't care about any of you. They don't care about any of their employees. Um, all of it, whether or not they're doing giveaways or you know trips to Dubai, you better believe is all to kind of get goodwill with the customer base and uh, drive up sales. I mean, it is a business after all. So, you know, like I said, I do get that part of it. Anyway, I just want to touch on that real quick. I thought it was... Uh, Interesting. Certainly sucks for that uh, individual. I do feel bad for him. I never had any issues with them. I know some people complain that it took a while to get a response from customer service or whatever, but that happens anytime you have a large company like that and you got a million different inquiries. So uh, I wish you the best, man. I really do. And hopefully you're able to find uh, some work soon, you know, to support your family. Um, as far as my reviews go, I am getting my sense of smell back and taste. It is not all the way there, but I can actually smell some stuff now. Uh, past two days, I wore uh, Sanjan 3AM at the gym, and when I sprayed it, I was able to smell it. 
at first I was able to start smelling some, you know, or tasting some foods and beers and stuff. Uh, I did pick up to review this. It's been reviewed um, or been pretty, I guess, well received by the reviewers who've reviewed it so far. This is Hugo Boss Reversed. Uh, people say it smells like a Elysium clone. We'll get into that. Um, and I also got a delivery, my first order from uh, Alexandria's other company called Sphinx. This is for the beard products. I thought it'd be interesting to try out. Um, I was debating on growing out my beard. I uh, probably won't, but either way, I kind of wanted just to get some beard oils and try them out. Uh, this is Aqua Elixir, which seems like it's an original. Um, it's an aquatic, but it seems like an original. It doesn't have a kind of, you know, inspired by or anything like that. The notes sounded really good. It almost did sound like, though, from the notes, like it was Aqua Celestial or something like that, like Deep Blue from Alexandria Fragrances. Um, we'll see if that's the case. And then this is La Freshore. This is their beard oil, basically, of Aventus, their version of Aventus, uh, which is, you know, Brasilia is what Alexandria's version is. Um, these are really affordable. I sent... Like I said, it's definitely not all the way there, so I kind of want to wait until I can actually really smell them. Um, but I did put this on today, um, and I could smell something. What I could smell smelled good, um, you know, and the oil itself has been decent. So this is Beard Butter. I got one of the Beard Butters, too. This is their version. Um, this is called, uh, what is this called? Ancient Kingdom. And this is their version of Herod. So... I would imagine it's supposed to smell like um, Arabian Horse from Alexandria. I can kind of smell it, a little bit of that cinnamon and tobacco. It smells good. It smells good from what I can smell. But again, my, my, my smell right now or scent is like a 10% maybe. So anyway, this is a beard butter. So this is something you obviously leave in more like kind of night conditioner. Um, I will be reviewing those. And no, none of those were sent to me for free or anything like that. So uh, will be my honest opinions as usual. Um, and I also had to pick up some stuff from TJ Maxx, just that I got marked down. I got, uh, it was in the clearance. I got Tommy Bahama, uh, very cool. And then um, John Barbatos, uh, one of the Nick Jonas, like, um, I don't even know what the heck they're called, kits where it's got like the body wash and everything in it. Uh, that was marked down as well. So I picked up that. So I will be reviewing those too. In addition to all the other stuff that I gotta review. But yeah, like I said, I am excited to get into the Sphinx stuff. See how it smells and, you know, kind of give you my opinions on that. They got a lot of them marked down right now on the website. I guess trying to push it, you know, push sales out for it. But anyway, again, this is a video I just kind of want to touch base on the whole Rick Van Sam thing. I Again, I wish, wish him the best. And, uh, you know, it, 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 it does suck. I think how a company handles situations like that speaks volumes to them and their character. And I certainly think, if nothing else, it could have been handled better. Um, you know, and at least he could have been offered to take a pay cut momentarily or um, given some sort of heads up that they were going to have to let him go so he could at least try to find another job. Um, but again, that's to his decision. So anyway, uh, I'll see you on the next video. Hopefully, like I said, I get the rest of my scent back soon and the sense of smell so I can start doing more reviews for you.